Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are talking about Biosans. So Biosans has multiple products and some of the products you guys probably have seen it on my Instagram. I was talking about like Biosans rose oil. This has a uh, squalene in it. But in today's video, we are actually talking about Biosans sunscreen. So I want us to talk about a little bit about just sunscreen overall, then before I, I can just talk about this specifically. So some things to think about, most sunscreen actually made in America, uh, they are not really the best. Uh, it really depends on which kinds you're looking for. But chemical, there's two types of sunscreen. So there's regular sunscreen, which is like their chemical sunscreens. So that's why when you look at the regular sunscreens, like the ones that you get from like a drugstore or like a CVS or anything like that, you will generally see like those chemicals, like the ones that always ends with like all or ox something, it means that it's a chemical. So those are just like chemical sunscreens. Uh, they're not necessarily uh, like, like terrible, terrible for you because it does protect you from the sunlight, uh, like UVA and UVB sunlights, like sun rays but uh, they're not necessarily good for you because they're chemical and it might be harsh on your skin. So that's why actually there's another kind of sunscreen that people have made, it's called mineral sunscreen. Although uh, I have to agree, like regular sunscreen, like chemical ones, they blend in with your skin so nicely. So it's actually so much easier to apply and your skin just doesn't feel bad, you know? Mineral sunscreen, I would say, it's very good for you like it has no effects or anything like that with the skin it protects you from the sunlight and everything but it really depends on the brand because some mineral sunscreen actually have white cast on it so i remember uh when i was in actually hawaii i used the sunscreen from sunbomb uh sunbomb actually has very good sunscreens but this one was sunbomb mineral sunscreen i don't know because it was bad or maybe i didn't apply it correctly when I sprayed it, it, it just had white cast all over it. I tried to blend it in and use it. My hands got so greasy and everything. It was just not good. So uh, that's what I'm saying. You definitely have to watch out for that because that's what you're essentially paying for. You know, it just it's good for you, but the, the consistency is not the best. So they're definitely working on it. So there's two recommendations I would have for you. So either definitely, I would say definitely try to avoid from like chemical sunscreens, like, if you have the option, don't go for it. But if you don't, then use it worst case scenario because it's better to have some sun sort of sunscreen versus having no sunscreen. Because if you don't have any sunscreen, your skin is gonna get damaged from the sunlight and it might cause uh, like cancer over the years, like depending on how much you will be out of the sunlight. So it's not good for you. So if you, worst case scenario, if you don't not gonna have a sunscreen and only choice you have is chemical one, use it. But if you have the choice, definitely use a mineral sunscreen. So again, uh, I would definitely recommend the Biosun sunscreen because I tried this like, uh, just literally, I think like a couple of times ago, uh, like I tried it even today too. So this has a lot of benefits. It's not just the mineral sunscreen. So because there are a lot of uh, companies that just makes mineral sunscreen that are for body, which is amazing. So you just spray them and everything. So you just have to be very careful with some companies. Um, if it's mineral screen, mineral sunscreen, but you have to pay attention to say it says no white cast because if there is a white cast, your skin like you know have you seen in some videos like people have like this white sunscreen on their face or like they because it's uh, it's like mineral sunscreen and they didn't blend it in or something happened something got messed up on the way because it's not supposed to be like this, but this one. First of all, it says sheer mineral sunscreen, so which means it has no white cast or anything like that. I literally used on my hands, nothing. And I'm gonna show it to you guys right now that I can, because uh, I'm gonna go outside anyways in a bit to record some TikToks. So I, I want to show you guys that like, yes, it is mineral sunscreen, but you guys see? no white cast at all nope like nothing at all it gives you that like shiny effect you guys see from there and yeah um only thing i would say is like unlike like regular sunscreen you would definitely have to like wash your hands afterwards 
it just doesn't feel great. But that's just the mineral overall because it contains mineral. So there's other things that comes with this. That's why I highly, highly recommend this for your face. I mean, I don't know if they actually make this for body. I would definitely have to find out. But for face, this is 100% yes. I mean, yes. Because, okay, so it's mineral sunscreen. It has zinc. So zinc actually just a vitamin essentially that like people generally take but this one is just zinc for your face like the zinc uh actually the zinc that they use uh zinc oxide i think that's what it's called so this protects you from sunlight and it calls and it's very like photographing which means that like even if you uh go in the water and everything it will hold up pretty well like this is very very water resistant so i feel like if it didn't have zinc so mineral sunscreen actually tend to wash off pretty easily because but because this has zinc it's going to be pretty water resistant so it will pr like stay on it because um that's something i would totally totally recommend because even the other ones i have used like the regular mineral sunscreen they have wash off like Depends on which kind, honestly. Sun Bum one I used, it was not pretty good. It washed off and I would see that white <laughs> cast over everywhere, even in the water. So, but this one is definitely really, really good. And another thing this also actually has inside that I really, really like, it has squalane. So, I have talked about squalane quite a bit. I feel like I have talked about it on my kills video here. I've talked about, uh, I think, I'm trying to say what other video I have talked about. There's definitely another video that I made. It also had squalane in it. And I would just tell it, totally recommend squalane because squalane is something that is, um, used to be, uh, derived from shark's liver. And obviously that sounds terrible because we don't want to kill sharks to just get squalane for our face because our face naturally actually is supposed to produce squalane, some sort of squalane. It's not like squalane, squalane. I think they call it squalene. That's something very similar to squalane. That's what our face produce. But sometimes we need more of that. That's why we have to use squalane. So uh, the ones that kills I know make squalane is they make it from olives. It's derived from olives. But this one, the specifically Biosance, they make it from sugarcane. So it's derived from sugarcane. It's completely sustainable. So they completely support, you know, sharks. So I, I don't think that we should be killing sharks just so we can have nicer skin. That, that's not really fair, you know, that really isn't. So anyways, squalene is really good for your skin. It helps with the elasticity on your skin. And also it really helps also over time with wrinkles and everything like blemishes, stuff like that. So I almost think of squalene as like hyaluronic acid, although hyaluronic acid is a completely different thing. It's kind of like used for fillers and everything, mostly for aging, but also for hydration. But this is also very good for hydration as well. So because it's very good oil that adds to your skin so because i feel like this comes like this is this sunscreen comes with squalene zinc and it's mineral sunscreen it's like all in one so i would definitely definitely recommend it uh i will definitely link the put the link down below so you guys can check them out i recommend this brand so much because every product that they have it's so sustainable first of all and also because they have like squalene in so many of their products Squalene is so, so good for you and you should be using, uh, especially if you have like the face oil and everything, you should be using with that or for your hands and everything because it really helps with also, you know, uh, aging on your hands because a lot of people don't realize even like when you are getting older, first aging starts with your hands. So they just have so many products on their uh, roster. So you can definitely check them out. Uh, with Skull Lane. So thanks Biosounds for sending me this product and I'll see you guys next week with another video. Bye guys.